All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you guys didn't see a couple videos ago, I picked up a new snowmobile for this uh, ice fishing and snowmobile season. It's a 2023 Expedition Turbo R. You can go check out that video if you want to see the snowmobile. I hinted in that video that I'm going to be doing some mods to it, especially the rear box. So the rear cargo box here is massive, and I'm only going to be using that while we're ice fishing. I'm probably not going to have that on while I'm trail riding and stuff. Um, I mostly wanted that to carry all my gear, um, maybe the bait bucket if it fits in there, and that'll just make it so I don't have to haul a jet sled or something behind sometimes uh, if I'm just going by myself or just with minimal stuff. So this is the box that I have on the back of the snowmobile. It comes off with four locks. It just has the Skidoo link system. You just unlock all four locks here, and this whole thing comes right off the snowmobile like that. So whatever I do to this box, I want to make it so I can still easily remove it from the snowmobile. And like all my mods are going to be on this and that's all just for ice fishing. So I don't care. I'm probably going to, some of you will probably cringe when I start modifying this thing because this box is not cheap and I'm going to start cutting it up, but I'm going to do, uh, do what we have to because uh, that's what we got it for. When we're towing either early in the morning or getting off the ice really late, it's dark obviously. So uh, I'd like to be able to see back where I'm towing to make sure I'm not losing anything. So uh, there's a perfect spot here to mount a light. And I bought these um, recessed off-road kind of cube lights. So it'll recess in and sit right up against that plastic. It won't stick out at all. And you get two of them. I'll link them in the description below. You get two of them. So if one ever breaks, I got a backup. The only downside is I got to cut a hole that big in the back of my box here. So. That's the first thing we gotta do. We gotta cut a hole, we gotta mount this light in there. And I got a whole bunch of other stuff up on the workbench here that I'm gonna use to kinda wire this up. So hopefully this is gonna work and it's not gonna be a disaster. So let's go see what we can do. My plan, and it will probably change because that's just how it is, is I'm gonna take this, drill the hole, put that in the back. We're gonna have, I don't know exactly what lights I'm using yet, but we're gonna have lights on the side. So it's just small ones. I have these little like marker lights like this that we might use, or I might use that inside the box. I'm not sure yet. I bought this wiring harness, which I probably should have just made my own, but I'll just end up chopping this thing up and using it. It's made for running LED light bars and stuff. Yeah, it's got enough room for four lights and it has a switch built into it. But of course, it's way too long to shove all in that box. So we'll chop it up, make it nice and neat. We're going to mount this to the box to plug our power into. So this little jumper with this uh, fuse, which I don't really need this because the wiring harness has a fuse so i'll probably take that one out or something i don't need a bunch of fuses to worry about but um we got a little jumper here i'll link all the stuff in the description below i'm going to plug this right into my battery tender cord or even the rear um heated grips on that rear seat it's the same plug as this so we'll plug that right into the one side this will be sticking in our box as the little receiver for that and all we have to do is plug those two in and now we have power to our box and the switch will turn the power on and off. Oh man, okay. You hate to see it. You really hate to see it. No turning back now. Sorry, Skidoo. gonna fit probably have to trim a little bit <clears throat> oh yeah i have to trim just a little oh no actually that fits pretty good let's see uh let me just test this light so you can guys kind of see what it's gonna look like this little battery pack here just like that i think that'll work huh oopsie now I'm not really sure. They give you this little gasket here, adhesive on one side. I'm wondering if I should use two of these because this isn't really flat here. Yeah, I'm gonna use both of them. Off-road town, baby. All right, now 
decided to use the sticky part facing in. Probably give it a better seal here, you know? I'm all about that. All right, so now I need to mount this plug that's going into the box, flush mounted so we can plug our power into it. This notch right here, kind of gonna go right below that. Um, it's just a little bit behind the passenger seat, so it'll be kind of protected. And then I'll put the switch even further over this way, so that's protected. Uh, I didn't really want it out this far because it might be some crap flying up every now and then, but we're gonna do the best we can. Trace this. Might be able to, might be able to do that. We'll see. I don't know how this is gonna work. I guess pretty good. I'm gonna have to find some little bolts to go through that. I don't really want to rely on the little screws they sent me with it, but like that. That'll be nice. Has a little cap to go on over it there. All right, so now I gotta mount this switch here that will turn the power on and off once we have power plugged in. So I need to make a hole about yay big. It's gonna go through and then there's a nut that goes on the back, tightens it to the box. Make sure that's gonna fit. And it does. There. All right, so we got the power in, we got the rear light hooked up here, and we got the switch. Um, I decided I'm gonna use these rock lights here. I'll link them down in the description below. They're like off-roading rock lights that guys use for to put up underneath their vehicles to see when they're off-roading and stuff. Um, they're waterproof. You don't have to drill many holes. And uh, it's just a little LED there. So I'm going to put one on each side of the box. Determined I'm going to put them up near the front like this. That's just kind of, I don't want big lights on the side, but I want enough so if I drop something I can see it. Or if we like pull up to a spot in the dark and we're going to drill a hole, we can kind of see something. So yeah, just thought it'd be a cool little addition to add on there. So I'm going to drill these holes, mount these, and we'll get to wiring these things up. Angel wings. You know what I might do? I might add a little spacer on this so it sits nice and flush. I'm gonna take a piece of this old mud flap here, just a you know flexible rubber, and I'm gonna make a little spacer for that so it'll kind of have a nice flush mount to it when we mount it up to this box. There's our little spacer behind there. Put that right up against there. That should be perfect. Okay. I'm just gonna test this real quick so you guys can kind of see what it's gonna look like, although it's not dark. Once I get this all wired up and done, we'll take it outside at night and show you what it looks like, but here we go. Boom, here we go. Pretty bright. All right, lights are all on, switches, power plug, everything just needs to be wired up. Um, and we're actually gonna have one more. I don't have it yet, it's supposed to come in the mail soon. I'm gonna put a small little LED strip here to light up the inside of the box. I'm gonna wire up the inside of this. I'm probably just gonna take this uh, wiring harness here, chop it up and just make it work. And then uh, once I get it all wired up and we test it, then I'll show you how I did it. Cause it's probably gonna be a little bit of a mess for a little bit here until I figure this out. All right.
Okay, the box is back on the snowmobile. It's all done, it's all wired up. I had to wait a couple days to finish it because I ran out of little wire connectors. We also had a tripod malfunction. My garage looks like a bomb went off over here. I had to harbor some parts to put this one back together. So, uh, but anyway, I had to wait a little while, a uh, few days because I ran out of wire connectors. But uh, what I used for all the wire connections in here was this little kit from Amazon. I'll link it down below. And they're just little uh, shrink tubes with some solder in there. You heat them up and the solder melts and then you get a solid connection, waterproof. The other thing I use are these pretty sweet pliers. I'll link those down in the description below. They strip the wire for you. Super quick and easy. But let's talk about the box. All right, so let me, I didn't really explain what I did there, but I basically chopped up that old wiring harness, uh, shortened up everything. I used it the way it was, it was built. I just had to shorten everything up so I didn't have a bunch of wires in here. And once I did all that, it was pretty simple. You can see I just drilled some holes and I zip tied the wire all along the inside of this rib here. And that just held it up so it's not hanging down. It's nice and tucked away. The drilling holes in this little rib here isn't gonna affect the waterproof proofing of this box because the seal actually sits right on this. I did put this light in here. This is just a LED light strip, it's supposed to be waterproof. I will see if it is. It came with a four pack, so if it gets messed up, I can always replace it again, but we'll try it out. And that's just to light up the inside of the box. I probably should have put another one back here and I may do that at some point. Um, so we have light coming from both sides, but I think that one might, might be enough. We'll see, we'll have to test it out. I didn't want to put anything lower down in here because I'm gonna have traps and all kinds of stuff, tackle boxes banging all around in here. And I didn't want it to bump into these wires and rip them apart or anything when I'm trailing it. So I'm hoping that by zip tying these up along top, gonna keep those wires out of the way and keep everything working for a long time. So we come up here, we got our little uh, plug here. We flip that open. We grab our little jumper cable here that we bought. I didn't make this, bought it right on Amazon. We plug one end right into there. We plug the other end either into our hand warmers, which is probably the better option because that turns on and off with the snowmobile. Uh, but for now, I got it plugged into directly to the battery into this charger cable here just so I can show you guys how it works without having the snowmobile on. But that's it. That's how we get the power. We can flip our switch here. You can see the light comes on right here. I'll show you here from the side. Flip our switch. Our, our LED rock lights come on on the side. The rear light comes on nice and bright. And there's the other one. And then we open this up and we've got our light inside. So I just finished this up and it just got dark out. It was perfect timing. We have a little bit of snow. So let's bring this thing outside and see what it looks like in the dark. can see I put these on if I didn't have this on here man that's actually really nice because when we pull up next to a hole early in the morning and I want to drill a hole right next to the snowmobile I'll be able to see I'll be able to get down put bait on my line I'm really glad I did those little rock lights those are pretty sick and I'll show you I'll turn the light off right now just the headlights on the snowmobile this thing throws some damn light man Turn the sled off. And you can see just how much light. You can see just how much light this thing gives off. So everything is off right now. I just want to show you how much light this does throw off. Ooh. Yep. That's nice. A ton of light. I'm just going to go drive it around real quick. Give you guys a look at it.
And just like that, lights out, baby. All right, well, there it is. The first mod to the big box here on the back of the old Skidoo Expedition. You guys can do this to literally any snowmobile that has, uh, you know, storage on it. Um, I had an old Arctic Cat Panther that I put a box like this on and I always wished I had lights in it. You can get a little battery pack to run that um, if you don't want to pull power from your snowmobile or your battery. The next is an auger mount for this, so stay tuned. If you guys like this stuff, if you guys have an expedition and you want to see more mods that I'm going to be doing to this thing, and if you want to come along on some of my adventures, hit the subscribe, like it, comment down below what you think of this, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Well, that's not good. Um, I just kicked that on and blew this little fuse right here. So 15 amp fuse, which that's not good if I'm blowing a 15, but um, I think what happened was, yeah, some of these lines were crossed in here. They're, the positive was touching the negative and I think it just shorted it out. 